What's up? It's Pixel Polygon, aka Papa Plum, and it's Mega Mondays. We're gonna play some Sonic the Hedgehog 1, which, if you're not familiar, is a super awesome game. Basically, a bunch of cool Japanese dudes listen to a bunch of Bobby Brown tracks, and we're like, let's transform this into these psychedelic visuals that really don't have a lot of rhyme or reason behind them. Uh, Sonic is not known for being a very cool guy anymore or having cool games, which is a shame because when he didn't talk, when he didn't listen to shitty pop punk or new metal, and when he didn't have a bunch of deviant art level uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 alternate number 5 costumed buddies to hang out with, he was awesome. No dialogue. The story is stop Dr. Eggman and um, basically save all the animals and hang out in this Altered Beast tribute stage. So we got Blue Skies, we got Sick Jams, we got um, very basic gameplay compared to some of the other 2D Sonics because we can't spin dash, we can't peel out, uh, we can't get fire bubbles or lightning effects. You can get this one bubble here that protects you from one hit of damage, but other than that, it's like you just sort of go through these areas, enjoy the music, and um, you freak out in the psychedelic bonus stage, which is the best part of this game. So let's give it a shot. Let's see, we've got Mr. Logan Mills with us. Welcome, my friend. Feel free to comment on stream quality, microphone volume, lack of microphone being plugged in that causes a false start. <laughs> All right, here we go. Classic tunes. Here we go. So all I really need to do is not get hit and um, get 50 rings at least and get to the end of the stage. That's how you trigger that's how you trigger the uh, bonus stage. Sweet, glad it looks good. Yeah, I had mute on the mic, which is really helpful when you're getting set up and <coughs> you're <coughs> getting all the frogs out of your throat, etc., etc. Gotta go fast. Gotta get that bonus stage. Get up in there. This is the part where Sonic drops some acid and hallucinates about uh, Escher birds flying in the background. And basically all we gotta do is not hit the goal, uh, the blinking red goal stuff, until we get the Chaos Emerald in the middle. Which is actually pretty difficult. If you hit the R, it rotates the opposite way. If you hit the up and down, it totally changes the orientation. I just have to bounce on these things and get in here, and get the stone, get the bling. That's kind of how you 100% this game. You gotta hit all the secret stages, get all the chaos emeralds. I don't think they really do anything the way they do in like Sonic 2, which is also a good game. And basically, if you're familiar with um, Dragon Ball Z, Starring uh, Mr. Z, I believe we decided on a previous uh, episode of Famicom Zone. Um, Mr. Z it can go Super Saiyan. So in Sonic 2, you get all these emeralds, you get a bunch of rings, and then you can transform into this like golden, invincible super warrior. It's actually pretty sweet. So I'm not doing anything, I'm just rolling backwards. <laughs> This game has so many different random branching paths, uh, lots of secrets, but it's not really like an exploration game. You could play it that way if you wanted to, but you gotta go fast. Oh, fast down the pitfalls.
So I remember, um, you know, we were a Nintendo household when I was growing up, and, you know, there was, like, no doubt about it. Nintendo was the best. Uh, and then I was watching TV. I think I saw a commercial for, uh, you know, Gen Genesis had been around for a little bit before Sonic came out. So we had games like, you know, all these surprisingly good arcade ports of games like Golden Axe, um, Altered Beast hasn't aged so well, but it's still a pretty iconic game. Uh, and those were cool. I knew a kid that had a Sega Master System, and he had some good games for it. But uh, when Sonic came out, I want to say the commercial you know, was trying to really play up the speed of certain sections of the game. Uh, had a little animated Sonic shaking his finger at the camera with all that classic dude. Hey, where'd you go? Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Um, but yeah, I was like, man, that guy looks cool. I had to beg my parents to uh, let me rent a Genesis from Blockbuster Video so I could play Sonic the Hedgehog. Just, you know, whiny only child. Oop, don't want to go that way. Oh, shit. Oh, we're screwed. That's the trap. But yeah, I begged my parents. I was like, please let me rent the Genesis. I gotta play this Sonic game. And uh, somehow I convinced them to let me do it. Um, the Genesis that we got from Blockbuster was all fucked up. Uh, it would power on, and then like there would be no sound, and the game would mess up. Heartbroken. I had to like, con oh shit. I had to convince my dad. Like, you gotta take it back. I need Sonic. Alright, let's try this again because I think it's a little secret area. Oh, I'm not going fast enough. That's definitely a wall I can bust through though. until they drop to the ground, which doesn't make any sense. Hmm? This song is so perfectly 90s. This is probably like top 5 best video game songs. I still do love Mario games and always have. Um, when I played this for the first time, and it did crazy stuff like this weird sort of transparent layering with the waterfall and like running through loop de loops. It was like this is this is next gen. <laughs> oh, got another secret wall here. Why am I playing so slow? I gotta speed some shit up. Another cool thing is every time you bust one of these bad guys, a cute little animal comes out. You're basically rescuing animals that have been forced against their will to become robot slaves. Oh, checkpoint. Is that, the goal? Is that a boss fight coming up? Yeah. This boss music, when you're like 10 years old in the 90s, 9 years old, however old I was when this came out, was pretty scary.
this is good too. I get to boom, save all your cute little animal buddies. Looks like Altered Beast waiting for uh, like a Greek god to show up. Rise from your grave. Maybe, uh, maybe Sonic is just the final animal form of one of the reanimated heroes from Altered Beast. Oh, uh, I saw that coming. Uh, there's nothing I could do. Menacing lava graphics. Yeah, dude, it gets super slow here. Uh, oh, whoop. Like, I just want to run and bust through stuff and not know what the hell's going on. But this has always been one of my favorite Sonic tunes. There is, oh shit, there's this um, random YouTube guy that I found who does uh, guitar covers of video game songs. And he does a pretty cool kind of power rock, like shredder version of this song. And it's totally like an unassuming video. It's not one of these like very self-indulgent guitarists who's like, yeah, like posing and rocking out. It's just like some dude sitting there. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, this is like trying to actually introduce platforming sections, which, you know, there are platforming sections in other Sonic games. Uh, 2D Sonic games, I should say, but they're definitely not as, like, classic platformer as some of this is. And the 3D platforming in a lot of the 3D games, once they introduce, like, the homing attack, it's like, you barely feel like you're playing anything, it's just not fun. This isn't a miserable failure, like the last one. Okay, okay, oh no, 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 miserable failure, must avoid. So this is definitely like kind of a precursor to Sonic as Pinball. Oh no, no, no. I wasn't expecting to get like a full chaos run tonight, but that's a bummer. I was hoping to get more. What's up, Brad? Good to see you, dude. Um, I'm not saying Sonic Adventure wasn't fun. I'm saying that the modern stages, the modern versions of the classic stages in Generations are not fun. Because it's like, speed part? There's some bad guys coming up, so let's pretend we're a rhythm game and time some homing attacks, and then another speed part and the level's over. And it's like, no. Just, just give me, give me all the classic stages in their glorious like HD remastered versions, because those classic stages are dope. Oh, that's interesting, Logan. Uh, I would love to read that. I'm gonna have to look that up. Um, Logan is mentioning a kill screen article about 
the faux speed in this game versus real speed in Mega Man X. You know, I don't really remember Mega Man X being that fast of a game, but I do remember um, that dash attack. So, it's been a while since I played Mega Man X. I have to bust that out and after I read that article and see what's going on in it. Uh, damn. Dude, Sonic Color.